Alright friends, welcome back to another tutorial series on building a real-time messaging platform with Laravel and Liveware. So first of all, let me give you the final demo of what we will be building throughout this series so that you will have some idea. So here we have the messages tab and if I click over here, we are redirected to this page. And over here on the left side, we have the list of contacts. And on the right side, we have the conversation uh, with this specific selected user. We can switch between user and we can simply uh, write the message here and press enter or this button and the message will get sent and we are not refreshing the page anymore uh, all this is done through liveware so if we want to chat with new users then we can simply go to users and here we have this little icon to chat and if i click on this icon and then it will take me to this page with this selected user now I can type the message here and click enter to send it and it got sent, right? So let me give you the demo of two users having the conversation on real time. So let me uh, click on this user and I have already logged in as this user on another window. So let me go to another window. Here we have that users. Let me minimize this and place it over here. And for this one, let me minimize it and place it over here. So that we can see both of these windows right so now let me send the message from here and press enter and it got sent here right so now let me send it as zone press enter and it will be displayed here now let me send message this user press enter and it got sent see how cool this is and I hope throughout this series you will learn lots of cool things related to Laravel and Liveware while building this real-time messaging platform. So now let's start by writing our migrations first. Now let me open up the terminal and let's do PSP artisan make me a model called conversation and with migration as well. And model and migrations got created. Let me do the same for message model as well. Make me a model called message with migrations. So now let me open up the code editor and uh, let me go to that file, create conversations table. And on this table, we'll be adding a few more columns related to sender and receiver. So over here, let's do table unsigned big integers and the column name is sender id okay let's do the same for receiver as well so let me paste that and rename this to receiver id also let's add the foreign key constraints so for that we can simply do table foreign and sender id references id on users table right let's do the same for receiver id as well okay so for conversation we just need to track sender id receiver id okay now let me write the schema for a messages table as well so create messages table and on the messages table we'll be adding few more columns so here table foreign id is conversation id let's set the foreign key constraint using constraint function let's do the same for user id as well user id and finally we'll be having the message body table text and body okay and for the messages table we are adding conversation id as a foreign key and user id as foreign key and then body as a text okay so now we can simply run psp artisan migrate and this got migrated so now let me go to psp my admin and click over here and if i go to more and then designer tab we'll see this design for now let me view in full screen and i just want to show you this users conversation and then messages let me put it here 
So here we can see this relationship between users conversation and messages table, right? So we'll be defining this relationship in our code as well. And here conversation has many messages and messages belongs to a specific user and messages also belongs to a specific conversation and conversation also belongs to a specific user for that we are tracking sender id and receiver id okay so let's define this relationship in our code now so let me minimize this go back over here and let me go to conversation model first So on this model, uh, let's define a method. Let's say public function messages, and it will return the relationship instance. So return this has many message class. So here we are saying that conversation has many messages, right? So let's add another method for sender and receiver public function sender written this conversation belongs to a specific user right let's do the same for receiver as well and conversation belongs to the receiver which is also a user right so now let me go to message dot PSP model and let's define the relationship over here as well so let me add a method public function conversation written this belongs to conversation class so here we are saying that message belongs to a specific conversation right so let's add another method for user and written this belongs to user class right so message also belongs to a specific user so these are the main building blocks for building this real-time uh, messaging platform so let me repeat one more time so here we are defining the relationship where message belongs to a specific conversation message also belongs to a specific user and if we go to conversation conversation has many messages and conversation belongs to a specific sender and conversation also belongs to receiver which is a user right so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so in the next video we'll be working on creating liveware components and also on design as well so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one Thank you.